Hello friends, this is the Science Jam again. Today we'll be learning about the Boyle's Law, which is the first part of a series on the gas laws. Please go nowhere, I'll be right back after this timeout. Before we continue, let's look at the definitions of some basic terms and concepts that we'll be using in this series. They include volume, pressure, temperature, kinetic theory of matter, gas, ideal gas, and the real gas. Volume is the space occupied by a substance and is measured in meters cube, decimeters cube, cm cube, millimeters cube, mils, and liter. To convert from one unit to another, you can use the relationship 1 million cm cube equivalent to 1 million mils, which is equivalent to 1000 dm cube, which is also equivalent to 1000 liters, which is equivalent to 1 meter cube. Pressure, on the other hand, is the force a substance exerts on a surface per unit area and is measured in Newton per meter squared, Pascal, millimeters mercury, atmosphere, and Tor, etc. The relationship between these units is as shown on the screen. Note that 1 Newton per meter squared is equivalent to 1 Pascal, while 1 millimeter mercury is equivalent to 1 Tor. Temperature is said to be the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. It is a measure of the average kinetic energy of a system. Temperature is measured in Kelvin or degree Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Kinetic theory of matter states that matter is made up of tiny particles which are in constant motion and possess kinetic energy. A gas is one of the physical states of matter whose particles move randomly with high kinetic energy throughout the space it occupies. It has no definite shape nor volume and as such, it takes after the shape and volume of the containing vessel. An ideal gas is a hypothetical gas used to explain how gases ought to behave. It does not exist while a real gas, as the name implies, is real and does exist. All the gases you have heard about like oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, etc. are all real world gases. So gas laws are proven statements of facts used to explain or predict the behavior of gases under certain conditions. They are empirical findings from the study of ideal gases and are generally divided into the physical laws and the chemical laws. The physical laws include the Boyle's law, Charles' law, Dalton's law of partial pressure and Graham's law of diffusion. While the chemical laws are the Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes and the Avogadro's law. Robert Boyle proposed the law that shows the relationship between the volume and pressure of the gas and it states that the volume V of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure P at constant temperature or the pressure P exerted by a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to its volume V at constant temperature. This means that provided the temperature remains constant, if the pressure of the gas is doubled, its volume will be halved and vice versa. Mathematically, Boyle's law can be expressed as this or that. If we evaluate these expressions by removing the sign of proportionality and introducing a proportionality constant, which is temperature in this case, we obtain V equals to T over P or P equals to T over V. Given that the product of P and V is constant, then at two different conditions, P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2, where P1 and P2 are the initial and final pressures respectively and V1 and V2 are the initial and final volumes respectively. If we plot a graph of V against 1 over P, it gives a straight line graph starting from and passing through the origin. Also, a plot of P against 1 over V gives a straight line graph passing through the origin. However, a plot of P against V gives a parabolic curve with a negative slope as shown on the screen. Let's now use the kinetic theory to explain Boyle's law. Consider a given mass of gas which is made to occupy a certain volume in a container with an adjustable piston by placing a suitable weight of say 20 newton on the piston. At constant temperature, the average velocity of gas particles is constant and the gas exerts a constant pressure on the walls 
of the container because the number of bombardments of the particles with the walls of the container per unit area does not change. If a lighter weight of about 10 newtons is placed on the piston, it moves upwards such that the volume occupied by the gas is doubled. This increased volume causes the gas particles to collide less frequently with themselves and with the walls of the container. And if the temperature must remain constant, these fewer bombardments of the particles with the walls of the container per unit time causes the pressure exerted by the gas to decrease by the same factor, that is, halved. However, if a heavier weight of about 40 newton is placed on the piston, it moves downward such that the volume occupied by the gas is halved. The average distance between the gas particles decreases, which makes them to collide more rapidly with themselves and with the walls of the container. To keep the temperature constant, the higher number of bombardments of the particles with the walls of the container per unit time causes the pressure exerted by the gas to double. An application of the Boyle's law is the bicycle pump. Now let's see how to solve some questions on the Boyle's law. Question 1. The volume of a given mass of gas at 15 degrees Celsius and 800 millimeters mercury is 150 cm cube. What will be the volume of the gas if the pressure is increased to 1600 millimeters mercury at the same temperature? The solution. The first thing we need to do is to identify the given parameters. From the question, the initial pressure P1 is 800 millimeters mercury, while the final pressure P2 is 1600 millimeters mercury. Similarly, the initial volume V1 is 150 cm cube and since we are asked to determine the final volume V2 at a constant temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, it means the question is related to Boyle's law. So we use the equation P1V1 equals to P2V2, then make V2 the subject of formula and then substitute the values of the parameters and evaluate to obtain 75 cm cube as the value of V2. Question 2. A certain volume of a gas at 25 degrees Celsius has a pressure of 8 atmospheres. If at the same temperature, the pressure is decreased to 2 atmospheres and the gas occupies a volume of 400 cm cube, calculate the initial volume of the gas. Solution. From the question, the initial pressure P1 is 8 atmospheres, while the final pressure P2 is 2 atmospheres. The final volume V2 is 400 cm cube because it is the volume associated with the final pressure while the initial volume V1 is to be calculated. Since the changes occurred at constant temperature, we will use the Boyle's law, P1V1 equals to P2V2, and make V1 the subject of formula. If we substitute the values and evaluate the equation, we obtain 100 cm cube as the initial volume of the gas. Question 3. Calculate the pressure that was exerted by a gas in an enclosed cylinder of volume 2.5 dm cube. If the volume of the cylinder is decreased, to 1.25 dm cube by a pressure of 2 times 10 to power 5 newton per meter squared at constant temperature. Solution From question 3, we are given the initial and final volumes V1 and V2 as 2.5 dm cube and 1.25 dm cube respectively, and the final pressure P2 as 2 times 10 to power 5 newton per meter squared, and asked to determine the initial pressure P1 at constant temperature. So using the Boyle's law equation, P1 V1 equals to P2 V2, and making P1 the subject of formula, then substituting the values and evaluating the equation, we obtain 1 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter squared as the initial volume of the gas. Note that in all our solutions, there is an inverse relationship in the changes of volume and pressure. As the volume decreases, the pressure increases by the same factor, and as the pressure decreases, the volume increases by a similar factor, and these agree with the Boyle's law. In our next tutorial, we will be learning about the Charles's law and its calculations. Endeavor to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to keep a date.